This is a film by GADPR of the Pi Telecoms Pi uh, Telecoms and Radio Telephone Museum of Beaudley in Worcestershire. A short film about the Pi on frequency repeater. And there is a picture of a Pi on frequency repeater operating in the 450 to 470 meg band, but I have brought one down onto 433.075 to repeat GB3KR, the uh, Kidderminster repeater, in earlier days, probably about 25 years ago, when I was lucky enough to buy from A.H. Thacker and Son a Pi on frequency repeater out of its case. This being one of the doors on channel 37, home office channel 37, Mark to OFR1 on frequency repeater. And that unit, in strip bare, looks like that on the top. Come down a bit. And if we turn it over, and reverse the camera around so that we can see correctly, that is the top view with the RF amplifier and vinyl multiplier and the IF board on the right hand side and the power supply at the back there. This being the IF uh, conversion board, this being the RF amplifier. I have recently bought, well I haven't recently bought, this has been donated to the Pi Telecoms and Radio Telephone Museum of Beaudley by Golf 8 Golf Oscar November of Exmouth Alec, who has collected some very interesting Pi stuff over the years and threw most of it away. But I was lucky enough to get this Pi on frequency repeater delivered to me. He has donated it for free as it was a bit heavy to post. It has come by van, by free, by somebody who was on holiday in Exmouth in Devon travelled all the way up the M5 motorway to Beaudley in Worcestershire. Anyway, enough of that. Pi on frequency repeater. What does that do? Right. Quite a difficult machine to explain its operation, but basically, as it says, if you go in on 433.075, you come out on 433.075. And so there is a go path and a return path. The return path being half a watt out on frequency, the go path, path being up to five watt output on um, on frequency. And the way it achieves this is by use of two aerials, one at the front of the building, uh, usually a collinear, uh, a beam, sorry, a 12 element beam, and one at the rear of the building on the hilltop side, which is a four stack SA460 antenna made by Python Glass, of which there is a better shot of the aerial. And there is a shot, a picture of a Pi OFR on site with the duplexer aerials going up, one to the go and one to the receive. There is an RF amplifier of 5 watts in the duplexer chassis, which is there. There is a Go frequency, which in case of GB3KR would be 434.675, and a res um, I apologise, that's the, uh, the Go frequency being at 433.075 to repeat the fr f repeater into a valley. So you'd be repeating the repeater into a valley upon a wideband collinear, uh, four stack uh, J-pole collinear, like that, with about 5 to 8 dBs of gain, with all the stacks down the one side, so that you get 130 degrees radiation on this side of the building, coming out here, whereas the beam is beamed back at GB3KR, for instance, and that's picking up that signal, regenerating it to a regenerative 21.4 meg IF, and coming back out on the same frequency. And how it works is by nulling the 12 element beam to get isolation between that aerial re-radiating and this aerial receiving. 
and then vice versa this one is receiving on the return path and going back with half a watt on the return path of 434.675 to get poly pocket phones for which it was built and these are a pair of PF1 poly pocket phones and, uh, emergency services are in the background going up the Beardley bypass 18 volt transmitter with 100 milliwatts and the aerial that comes out like that and a poly pocket phone receiver which is probably about half a microvolt sensitivity and that runs on a details, uh, usually on a details, 9 volts uh, battery, rechargeable, made by Varta, and the transmitter runs on an 18 volt battery, made by Varta. The battery is sitting the bottom, like the set. and that's how the batteries would fit in. You can push the receive battery into the receiver, and transmit battery into the transmitter, push the port away written in on the transmitter. This away, and then when you wish to transmit on the transmitter, you go to wave whip, extends like that, and pokes the policeman's eye out. There we go. The receiver has a built in grid aerial just there. This is plaque on the back PF1RX, and the clip to go in the policeman's tunic. And as it says there, UHF receiver. Pocket phone transmitter, press to talk, that's all you've got. Single channel UHF transmitter up to 80 to 100 milliwatts output. Very efficient because it's a half wave, quarter wave dipole, one quarter there, and the chassis of the transmitter there acts as the other part of the, the uh, dipole. Anyway, I digress from the on-frequency repeater whose, perform whose position in life is to repeat Pi pocket phones down into a valley where there is a null from the Pi F460 base station that may be in use. So we come back to the front of the on-frequency repeater. This one, by the way, is not police. This one is ex-police and it was on channel 37 in the 452 meg band and uh, stamped home office but this one is a bit of a mystery because if you go back to the back of the plaque on the back there is an MOD uh, and I'm going to say plaque there and it's on 454 megs and 468 megs which is quite an unusual frequency split especially for an on-frequency repeater so there must have been some sort of military system which uh, required to repeat uh, the British Army, maybe Northern Ireland, there's the thought for anybody who's uh, watching this video. And uh, that uh, would be interested to receive any uh, input on that. So we come back round to the front of the repeater. Just uh, look at the uh, literature there. And then if we open this up, there is the Yagi on a mast. There is the wideband receiver down into the dip. And there on another building, there's the UHF Yagi porting towards KR. And there's the re-radiation aerial with the big grid behind it, I'm trying to get about 60 to 100 dBs of isolation in order to work uh, uh, reasonably efficiently. And there's an idea of repeaters going up and down a railway line, providing coverage along a, a railway track, for instance. And uh, there is the diagram with the theory of operation. This is the end of part one of the Pi on Frequency Repeater Report by Dave, GADPR.